Yes, Didi, go ahead. Okay. Welcome to all the guests on behalf of uh, Fertile Brain, which is powered by UT and TWD. And uh, today we have a very beautiful theme, uh, which uh, we have taken from the poem of John Keats, A Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever, uh, from Endymion. It is a poetic romance. And it is based on Greek mythology about a shepherd named Endymion and his quest for his love, Dinah, uh, for whom he falls in love. And in this poem, John Keats tells us that a beautiful thing is a source of endless joy and it is eternal beauty which never fades away. And uh, a short introduction for John Keats that he is a romantic poet and his poetry is characterized by sensual imagery and uh, today I would like to say only one thing that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder and I would commence today's session with the topic a thing of beauty is a joy forever inspired by John Keats and uh, now I would like to uh, thank our all honorable guests on behalf of uh, the team of Fertile Brain, as well as I would like to first thank Brother Prasanna for coordinating, organizing, and conducting this Zoom event, as well as I would like to thank all the team members of Fertile Brain, Ms. Deshiti Rao, Ms. Ekta Huja, Ms. Delda Castro, Ms. Sunita Hussain, Dr. Satish Srivastava, Ms. Maria Elvira, Ms. Divya Umkari, Mr. Hari Prasad, Dr. Rupali Sarkar Gaur, Mr. Arindam Roy, P. Koshi, and Ms. Nirmala Mahesh, ma'am. Now, uh, uh, all, all the members uh, who are not present here may join it later. I would like to call upon our first honorable guest, Ms. Kasturik, Kasturika Mishra. And before uh, giving, handing over the mic to you, ma'am, I would like to just introduce you to all our guests and members who are present here with a brief introduction about your achievements uh, in the literary world. So Kasturika Mishra, ma'am, is a trained classical singer and a multilingual poet in English, Hindi, Odia, and Urdu. She writes and composes her own poetic verse for many online events, forums at national and international level also. And she has published her first English poetic book, Metamorphosis, in 2021, which was featured in Jaipur's Literary Fest for, for the first time. And uh, she hails from state of Odisha and plays a pivotal role in social cause of adoption as a single mother and her family has also featured on shows and on Zindagi Alive and Outlook. So uh, this was a short brief uh, bio of Ms. Kasturika Mishra and I'm handing over the mic, mic to you, ma'am. Please uh, take over and say a few words to all our guests and commence the event. Thank you so much, Silpa. Thank you so much. Uh, I am really, really honored that uh, I am part of uh, fertile brains and I don't treat myself as an honorable member. I treat myself as one of you, as a, a, a learning a poet, a maverick, uh, I should say uh, a person looking, uh, looking for uh, avenues to share my um, acquired knowledge from other poets like John Kitts. And it is not easy for us to, you know, pen few words each day and share it with others. And uh, I am sure most of you who have joined us here uh, know this feeling of restlessness all the poets feel when they try to write few things. There are many uh, obstacles uh, in life, uh, hindrances, distractions, but uh, definitely there is an urge to uh, go forward and uh, put your um, uh, words uh, into a paper. I will read a very short uh, three poems of mine and uh, so that, you know, I can uh, listen to my fellow poets as well. Very quickly, I'll read uh, three poems. Uh, I have attempted to write uh, erotica on uh, getting inspired from uh, Kamala Das. Uh, all of you know she was an English poetess 
I'll read uh, one of my erotic poems, which I have in, um, carried in my book, Metamorphosis. It goes uh, like this. Um, the, your bare back, your bare back like the handle of a teapot melted me like slice of butter on bread. Your wet hairs like the drizzle of rains on the window seal floated me floated me like paper boat on a puddle. Your taunt teats like twin chocolate cones devoured my senses to try the flavor. Your fleshy buttocks like the firm circular path of our green patch of park chided my horns to rub the green grass greedily. This is not the end of the tormenting tunnel, my dear. My bubblegum pass me those goodies, not worth for them to be lying around with you. Let my ISI marks be there on your temples of joy. Thank you. Now I will read uh, for you uh, um, a serious adult um, uh, poem. Uh, many of us in India know what, what is a baranda. Uh, it is a it is an open space inside the house where people sit around, chat, gossip, uh, sleep, uh, and uh, what not happens there. All of you are aware of it, but I have uh, taken uh, the veranda, the uh, inside space of any house, uh, as a metaphor in my poem, where uh, two uh, two people a couple are uh, conversing with each other. I am, the uh, title of the poem is Ode to the Baranda. Is it uh, the whole verse is a metaphor or just few lines of it? Uh, I will school? just uh, read it and you will realize what is uh, baranda in this. Uh, it is, yeah, it is a space where a uh, lot of life happens, right? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Just I asked out of uh, curiosity whether, whether the whole thing, whole of the poem or the words is in metaphor or like you attempted in metaphor uh, the yes, classic yes. way or like that. Yes. It, is, it is denoting the love which both of them shared, um, uh, both of them shared over the years of their togetherness. Uh, I'm not sure uh, when I wrote it that whether I will, you know, they are married couple or they are just, uh, you know, living together. Yeah, no, they this were, they this were can be any, any place. Any. Baranda can be anywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. So I have titled the poem as Ode to the Baranda. Uh, I am too insane to explain. I am too insane to explain and you are too normal to understand. The hurried hugs in unknown ladders of, of our puppy love. The hurried hugs in unknown ladders of our puppy love. The clumsy caresses to encapsulate a day of remembrance, whole nights of making love. Wasn't it just enough? Wasn't it just enough to sustain decades of devotion and acceptance? Then, why my love? Then why my love? Now why this pretense in this hour of so many years? Why must we pretend we are charmed lovers in the bylanes of a live performance? We are as if rubber stamps of my hand in hand gestures which are lost when we are lost in each other in the jungles. Armed, pushed out of bus windows to carry the airwaves inside the breaths and long narratives of filmy scenes that warmed our long conversation. Sleepless nights of sweet nothings and carelessness. The exasperated wish to meet just whenever and wherever. Changeover of romance and innocence to ghost sleeping and being taken for granted. Rub the smear of the body, rub the smears of the body and wipe the sweaty palms with dusting cloth. Let's, let's 
sit on my veranda. Let's sit on our veranda face to face. Face to face, let's sit on our veranda and ruminate. Maybe the scars will melt. Maybe the scars will melt. Maybe the undone be done. Questions will be less and answers even fewer. Maybe we can fall in love again. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you I so have... much. Yeah. Now I, I will uh, leave the stage open to all my fellow poets who are waiting eagerly to uh, recite. And I am welcoming um, all of you. Please join the Mela. Okay, thank you, you ma'am, for side. a beautiful rendition of two poems from Metamorphosis, that erotica and adult my version of it. And I, I really appreciate uh, both the verses of yours, uh, which is written in a very good sense, as well as it gives us an, a, glim a glimpse of uh, the different world, which we usually, uh, beginners or the poem, poets, uh, may not uh, uh, be aware of how to present it. You have presented it very beautifully, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, okay. Now I, I take the charge. I will mute you. myself now. Okay. I'll take the charge now and I'll call upon my friend, Ms. Jayshriti Rao, to start the first lap of this event and uh, take over the charge. Ms. Jayshriti, uh, are you there? Uh, yes. Thank you, Shilpa. Yeah, welcome to the event and you please take over the charge and uh, start the becomes the event. Yes. Uh, the first poet uh, whom I call upon is Pankuri Sinha. Hello, thank you so much, Jashri. Thank you, my dear brother Prasanna. Thank you, Shilpa. I am so honored and delighted to be here very quickly, just uh, saying the joining from Hungary, where I'm doing my writing residency. It's so good to see my friends, You're Isaac welcome. and Sandra and everybody else. Um, I will quickly read my poem, a short one as per the instructions. It's a poem about Keats himself, maybe a political sort of a tribute to him. Here it goes. John Keats, you so bravely clung to beauty till the very end, when all was pain and blood. Even on that fateful morning, when you woke up, and began to cry upon finding yourself alive to face another day of tuberculosis without medicine. You were full of passion and pathos for life, death, and all bridges in between. Never siding with those disrespectful of life in pursuit of power, you remained in awe of the nightingale unforgettable of the seasons of love and God, all of which you so boldly declared in your letters to Shelley. Thank you for penning your love for Fanny and for ode to melancholy words, psyche and the great chin urn, asking us all to glut our sorrow on a morning rose to forever climb to the temple of delight. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, Pankuri. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful one, Pankuri. Thank you. Thanks. Then next poet is poet Dheeraj Set. Are you there? Mrs. Debra, next person, third person. Member should be present on time. Okay, continuing further, fourth one is Dr. Dina Padiachi. She is there, I think. Um, this is Dr. Dina Pediatri. Um, I'm actually male. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, my name is Sh Dina, short for Dina the Island. I'm a South African um, okay. from Durban. Um, sorry, yeah. sir. Uh, so as per instructions, uh, first of all, thank you to everybody for um, the invitation. And uh, 
to be among this galaxy of illustrious poets. Um, my poem, my tribute to Keats is actually a homage to the beautiful souls of South Africa who took on the full might of uh, the apartheid forces um, and um, many of them died in the struggle, but I will just uh, mention a few names. This is also for uh, somebody who's not South African, Nazim Hikmet, for Archbishop Desmond Tutu, for Dennis Brutus, for Dr. Godom, for Dr. Neil Agat, for all the love in the world that tries so desperately to survive in a seething caustic cauldron of senseless conflict. There is more than enough for all, but the cancerous greed and aggression that infects the human species is so irrational than to call that to call ourselves sapiens is the height of absurdity. And yet this gives our existence that added luster. We wonder at the beauty of the souls that love humanity so much, that consider us worth loving with all our flaws and our errors, that think that we can still aspire to something higher that we can still turn away from instinctive reptilian anger, that we can still be above the fury that seizes us when injustice is seen as justice by the venal and the gullible, that great souls survive among us all to love us, that they survive within a raging mire of transparent duplicity and lethal hate is a source of constant wonder to homo sapiens. Thank you. Nice, wonderful one, sir. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. Um, Dheeraj said, Debra, are you present? I'm moving further. It is Mr. Taufik Jaf Jafar. Taufik Zafar. The sixth one on my list is Mr. Bob Fillin. Good morning. It's morning here. I hope you're all having a nice evening. Um, I, okay. Yes, I, I want to thank you all for allowing me to share. This is uh, wonderful. Uh, my starting point here is that Keats's poem, A Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever, is, is talking about beauty and time. So this poem is called Ikibana, which is Japanese flower arranging, which you probably already know, but Ikibana. A gathering of old monks, all knowing, Everything must pass. Sitting calmly in meditation, their energy quietly fading. This vase of irises, accepting their cut, continuing to glow, modeling the joyful posture of impermanence. Dewdrops vanish on a morning breeze. Thank you. Thank you. That was a wonderful one. Thank you, Bob. Very nice. Thank you for allowing me to participate. This is great. Nice to have you, sir. I now call upon Mr. Pantas Panigutan. Yes, uh, I'm Pantas Panguta. Good evening, uh, greetings from Indonesia. Welcome, sir. Yes. So, uh, the theme is Things of Beauty is a Joy Forever. So, I direct recited my poem. I am a human, I love beauty. 
a beauty that makes me joy forever. Not just temporal, but also immortal. A beauty in eyes will fade away. The elegance beauty should be rooted in one soul. It should touch the inner human being. The true beauty embedded on the heart. It radiates on the surface. Natural beauty should produce joy and happiness. The divine beauty reflected in moral. What is beauty without fragrance? What is beauty without loyalty? For the untouched beauty will remain forever. Thank you. Fantas Pangotan. Thank you, madam. Wonderful, sir. That was a deep one with a great meaning in it. You're welcome. I now call upon Mr. Ratan Ghosh to recite the poem. Mr. Ratan Ghosh. The next on my list is Dr. Jadda Ram, Ramnathan, Ramanathan. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Um, I thank Prasnaji and Jayashree, madam, for this opportunity. And I go with the concept, the concept of Keith's beauty. And Welcome, my for mesmerizing beauty, that is nature. I see beauty in you. Beauty lies deep within. You open me up to your wonderland of haunting secrets. Each element of you is a piece of puzzle. The darling buds basking in the morning sun. The beautiful butterflies flying from flower to flower, deep and dark forest. That has seen store beauty in abundance. The birds twittering recklessly in the woods. The lashing waves of the sea, snow covered mountains, and bits of snow that drip through the air freely. Setting sun, who leads me to the starry night and silvery light of the moon. The cool moon, who invites the shadow of the trees to engage in a solemn dance. I see millions of stars twinkling. They gaze down upon me, every living thing exists in perfect harmony and they are so beautiful. They portray signs of new hope and new beginning. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank Wonderful you. narration, ma'am. Thank you. The last person on my list is Mr. Umesh Mohitkar. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jayasri, ma'am. Thanks, uh, Prasanna. Thanks a lot. I will read a few short poems. Uh, it will be inside three minutes. This is from my book, uh, Light Shadow Life, which is available on Amazon. So this is called You Are Not Beautiful. Once again, I realized you are not beautiful. Your eyes are not so deep and face not so sweet. Then I read your mind. You are nothing but so kind. Just a look from the corner of your eye. Just a look from the corner of your eye answers all my questions and make my dreams fly. Make my dreams fly. That was You Are Not Beautiful. Second one is called With Bliss Comes Love. Never knew myself till I met you. Forgot about myself once I met you. I was looking to find someone. Once I found you, I lost everyone. You took me away from myself. Took my identity and ego. Bliss was the feeling when I let everything go. Let it go, let it go, be brave. With bliss comes love. With bliss comes love. And this is the last one, very short one, Colors of Life. 
all life every morning newspaper shaped colored my world it's glowing green blue yellow and red but my heart jailed inside is pale and colorless at night i dream of colors sunrises and sets colors seen not felt give me give me my colors and life back a fresh start with greenery and hopes with my folks with greenery and hope with all my folks thank you thanks a lot wonderful sir congrats on your book nice sunnesh ji bahut badhiya very nice thank you thank you ma'am i now pass on to shilpa to continue further thank you jayshree it was a wonderful uh, anchoring and hosting of first lab and i appreciate that you have given the time and always you are with us and the team and cooperating and coordinating all the events uh, continuously since we started and uh, i am thank i'm thanking you on behalf of the entire team for conducting the first lab and now uh, welcome shil yeah uh, now i would uh, actually the second guest of honor is dr Uh, purnima kulkarni i think she is not present but uh, brother prasanna is she present on the uh, event or uh, uh, didi she would be joining a little later so, uh, so could... shall i shall i start with the second uh, lap yeah exactly exactly okay okay so uh, now i'll be uh, calling miss ekta huja to take the mic and uh, start uh, the second round second lap of the event Uh, Ms. Ekta Ahuja, can you please uh, take up on the charge? Sure, Shilpa Ji. Yeah. Hi, and uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Shilpa Ji. Yeah. And uh, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the second lap of uh, uh, this session uh, with a beautiful topic: uh, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. so um the next guest uh, which i would like to uh, whom i would like to invite is uh, dr shalini yadav so uh, dr shalini are you uh, there yes yes i am here okay uh, dr shalini you can present your uh, poem before and before that uh, mr lakshman now you are the next one so uh, be ready with your poem and after uh, dr shalini you will be uh, presenting your poem yes uh, good evening everybody uh, uh, and thanks a lot for sanna sir for i would like to read a poem from uh, that i have written long back but i feel that it is talking about the beauty of nature so uh, i chose it to read today the poem's title is on the cloud scout i want to flee over the wrinkled sea with the wandering cloud far from the city's crowd to watch beneath the cross from the mountains waterfalls i want to float in the clouds boat with a soothing breeze far from that grief seas to relish the daffodils from the valleys and hills I want to dance and sing with the clouds swing over the trees and bushes far from the downtown's rushes to enjoy the birds flight from the stenciled rocks height I want to lie on the clouds couch in the sky over the lakes and green sward far from the metropolitan hippodrome to value the natural scenery from the wicked to the earthly greenery thank you wow 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 i must say uh, uh the lines which he used like float in the clouds enjoy the birds fly lie on the sky uh, really beautified the poem wonderful words dr shalini uh, uh, once i was feeling little low so i wanted to go <laughs> somewhere where i could stay alone and so that time i felt that uh, i uh, because whenever i feel low i start writing something so that time i wrote this poem beautiful thank, thank you. you 
So uh, uh, now the next guest uh, is Mr. Lakshman Rao. Are you are you there, Mr. Lakshman Rao? Yeah. Yeah, Prasanna yeah. ji. Yeah. Hello. Is it audible, ma'am? Yes, you are audible. Are you? Am I audible? Just take a moment and just take a break and uh, give the honor to. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, now you are audible. Uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Lakshman. Now you can present your poem. Well, thank you. Well, I've been feeling a little bit low just because of fever. Okay. As Shalini Ayadu was saying, that she was, she was feeling low. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, mine was a little bit of physical thing. Okay. Well, coming to the fact here, like, I, I'm an ardent fan of John Keats. And I used to, I started my poetry uh, with the readings of uh, John Keats poems. So I not only uh, like uh, read John Keats from length and breadth of his uh, poetry, but uh, I could fantasize a lot to his ideologies of writing poetry. The, the thing is, like, the reason why I say ideology is like he, he has several ideologies towards his poetry itself. And he says in one of his ideologies, like anything that is creative should create itself. Anything that is creative should create itself. That was his ideology, Keats' ideology. So when we when he brought this line, a thing of beauty is joy forever. So he brought in the same thing aspect, as in like whatever you want to say, you say it the moment of its presence. So that was his uh, sense. In the sense, like uh, he was a poet of senses rather than of thoughts. He was not uh, much on to thoughts rather than of his senses. That's what he used to be. Here, I, I would like I don't want to take much of my time, but I would like to just recite my poem. You. A thing of beauty, joy for your bow. A saying that goes well with Sir John Keats, a poet of senses rather than of thoughts, who insanely and intrinsically states that anything that is created should create itself. He speaks his mind rather transforming the theme. He speaks his mind rather transforming the theme into a thought process, transform all thought. That which beautifies your senses is a beauty indeed. That which beautifies your senses is a beauty indeed. And that which transcends turns out to be a truth. That which transcends turns out to be the truth. A picture perfect of one's love, a picture perfect of one's love, image or impression in one's mind as a perfect frame. And that's the beauty. And that you cherish in your art and mind forever, that you cherish in your art and mind forever is impressioned in your visual visage that speaks of truth. Is impressioned in the visual visage that speaks of truth. Imagine the image of your mind. Imagine the image of your mind as you see, sense and feel. Own it for beauty is nothing but the next best thing of joy. Beauty is nothing but the next best thing of joy. Thank you. That's one of Bangalore signing. And that's a beautiful uh, words. And thank you for sharing the ideology of uh, John Keats. Uh, beautiful, Lakshmanji, uh, very beautiful. Really, really, right, right, Kasturika ji. It was the line, anything creative should create itself is the best uh, line. It's a, yeah. a wonderful line. Wonderful. So thank yeah. Thank you, Laksh uh, Lakshmanji, for sharing such a wonderful uh, verse. And now I would like to uh, invite Mr. Prasanna Bhatt uh, to present his verse. Are you there, Mr. Prasanna? Yeah. Okay. So Thank the you. mic is all yours. Please present your poem. Sweet evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, yes. You are audible. I'm going to recite my poem. Beauty in Serenity. The section of my poem, Beauty in Serenity. Beauty living in serenity of leaves, eternity. Feelings and thoughts are purer in sense and essence in purity. Refers to outward physical beauty, but only inner beauty. Beauty refers to Outward physical beauty, but only inner beauty. Spiritual beauty is something nobler 
rather than physical beauty. Beautiful object may be momentary, but memory lasts forever. A natural object may die or decay, but thought for beauty dies never, and life seems full of fears and sorrows. Nature's beauty can lift our mood, even if the night seems too dark, a glimpse at the dazzling moon never eludes. Real happiness comes from the beauty of our surroundings, which is timeless. Beauty hidden in everything in the world, the highest realm of truth in silence. God has created lots of lovely and beautiful things for his posterity. True beauty removes all momentary reality and links them with eternity. God's beauty are the fountain of joy and admiration, a foundation of never-ending joy and inspiration. Nature provides us beauty, transferring into hearts right from heaven. Let's be optimistic to make life precious and sublime in this heaven. Thanks for reasoning my point. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful words. And uh, uh, rightly said that uh, the thoughts never die. Maybe the thing related to beauty dies, but not the thought. Wonderful uh, poem about inner beauty. Uh, Ekta, I'm sorry. I would like to interrupt uh, for a few minutes uh, just because uh, Miss uh, Dr. Purnima Kulkarni joined in between. So I would introduce her as well as I'll welcome her and uh, give a short introduction of her. So I sure. hope you won't mind. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not at all. Thank you. Dr. Purnima Kulkarni, welcome to the event, A Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever. And uh, on behalf of Brother Prasanna and the entire team of Fertile Brains, I would like to uh, welcome you on this event, on this platform as an honorable guest. And before I hand over the mic to Ms. Purnima to say a few words, I would like to introduce to all our members about Dr. Purnima Kulkarni uh, with a brief introduction. Uh, she is a bibliophile and a multilingual personality with an experience of 15 years in teaching and her specialization is in drama, poetry, public speaking and also she compares cultural events and uh, she has also published her research papers in at international and national level and also she has contributed few chapters in the book and her first anthology of poem is Assorted Fumerias is dedicated to her mentor Dr. Nitish Bharadwaj, and the second book is an international anthology, namely Permutations and Combinations of Love, published her poems in Dakkan Reveries, Kavya Kumb, and Epiphany, A Myriad of Emotions. And she also has done edi uh, editing of uh, many uh, other books also. And she wrote an anthology praising Lord Ganesha, Om Ganaganpatai Namaha, and she is also a MD of uh, discourses in Pune. And she helps and enhances her students and also uh, the many other people at uh, as a, uh, to motivate them in many writing skills or speaking skills, etc. So now I would like to call uh, Dr. Purnima to take the mic and say a few words uh, for today's event. Thank you so much for that marvelous, marvelous introduction. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to you, the host, you know, such a marvelous lady. Thank and you. of course, you know, Prasanna Kumar, who invited me here. So I'm a buoyed, cheered, titillated, exhilarated to be on this um, platform, Fertile Brains. And uh, you people have done a phenomenal job of choosing the line from Endymion John Keats, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. And probably Prasanna does not know I am head over heels in love with it. I was head over heels in love with John Keats when I was in college. 
And, uh, you know, when uh, I still remember the lady, the teacher, uh, Dr. Rashmi Tekku, who, you know, taught me kids and the way she rendered the, his poetry, whether it's, you know, Ode to a Nightingale, on first looking into Chapman's Homer, Hyperion, Endymion, and the list goes on. Some lines were so, so hard hitting. That, Some that lines, was, uh, uh, oh, was, was I, I think, you know, my video was, um, uh, you can see me initially. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now you can see me. Yeah. So uh, can I repeat what I said? No, because no, my... You were, you were audible. You were audible only, we couldn't see. All right, all right, no problem. No we problem. Heard about your teacher. We heard about your teacher who taught you and you the way you fell in love with John Keats in your college. John day. Keats, yes, yes. As I said, uh, you know, some lines struck me hard even during the pandemic, where youth grows pale, spectre thin, and dies. Queen Moon on her throne, mid May's eldest child. Oh my God. And the way he started, the way he began the poem, Ode on a Grecian Urn. Thou still unravished bride of quietness, thou foster child of silence and slow time. And the way he ended it, truth is beauty, beauty is truth. Very oh my God. I think uh, he was probably the most passionate poet, sensitive, and his poems were full of poignancy, full of intensity. He fell in love. Let me tell the viewers that he fell in love with this beautiful girl called Fanny Brown, who could not reciprocate his love. And, uh, you know, one a, a poet need not write autobiographical poems, but especially when it comes to Keats, you can see a veiled melancholy permeating his poems because of what he went through. He did not lead a long life, by the way. He died at a yeah, tender yeah. age. Yeah, but yeah. you know, if you read his poetry, and if I don't tell you the age when Keats died, you may, you know, probably conjecture. Maybe it's written by a 50-year-old or a 60-year-old, but you're highly okay. mistaken. The poems were written by a very young man who fell in love with this girl called Fanny Brown, who could not, uh, you know, and their love affair. Uh, remained unrequited. It was, you know, one of the stories of unrequited love. Secondly, I must also share with the viewers, you know, the moment you think of a thing of beauty is a joy forever, you would also be reminded of um, Keats's uh, trouble. You know, he uh, was suffering from tuberculosis. He used to get these bouts. And that time the only way, on. the only way he could divert his attention was through beauty. So he looked at Nightingale, he looked at the Grecian urn, and he you know, wrote this poetry probably for cathartic effect to release his pent up emotions because he knew that he was going to die very soon. And he also knew that his love was never gonna be reciprocated. Yet you see so much of love and so much of passion in his poetry. That is the best part of Keats. I don't think I have much time as we have, you know, 40 uh, minutes a session because Zoom, you know, stops on its own. And Prasanna has, you know, actually held a cudgel in his hand and, you know, given me some uh, uh, time limit. So I'm just going to read one of my favorite poems by Keats on first looking into Chapman's Homer. I hope you like it. Much have I traveled in the realms of gold and many goodly states and kingdoms seen. Round many Western islands have I been, which baths in fealty to Apollo hold, hoffed on one wide expanse, had I been told that deep browed Homer ruled as his dismance, yet I never breathe its pure serene till I heard Chapman speak out loud and, and bold. Then felt I like some watcher of the skies when a new planet swims into his ken, or like stout Cortez when with eagle eyes he started the Pacific and all his men looked at each other with a wild surmise, silent upon a peak in Darien. 
So as I said, it's a poem of 14 lines. It's a sonnet by, it's a sonnet by John Keats on first looking into Chapman's Homer. And if you are a lover of Keats, you must already be in love with uh, this uh, poetry. And I think this is the benchmark. That's the way poetry should be, full of passion, full of poignancy, full of intensity, full of love, and so full of beauty, because a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Thank you so much for having me as a guest of honor. Looking forward to hearing the poetry, uh, you know, by um, uh, renditions by some phenomenal poets. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Purnima ji. And I really, I really appreciate your rendition with full of emotions and exact uh, emotions which the words mean with all the correct uh, way it should have been. Actually, you know, this is the way a poetry should be recited. Mm -hmm. And you took me back to my school and college days when my teachers used to read the poetry in this form only and they insisted that the poetry should be read like this only which uh, is missing nowadays in many of the places but really i love to read the poetry in this way and regarding sonnets i would like to say that yes uh, sonnets uh, are really beautiful and they have been written by many of the poets all around the world and uh, I, I i really feel bad about myself because Still, I am not able to get hold of anything, uh, go near the sonnets also. I do read, but I don't uh, understand how to write or how to uh, take the up technique, the, the technique. Yeah, the technique. Yeah. Actually, the syllables and the rhyming scheme and uh, like the last two lines summing up and they were completely uh, opening up the um, mystery of something which has been told in 12 lines. First 12 Correct. lines. So that yeah, is what the I first mean, eight studying. lines, my dear. The first eight lines are called octave, and the last six yeah, lines are called sestet in a sonnet. Yeah. But there are there are various kinds of sonnets. Also, there's Petrarchan yeah. sonnet, there is Shakespearean yeah. sonnet. Yeah. Two Each kinds type of has a different uh, yeah. yeah rhyme scheme. It's in classic poetry, but uh, okay. Now in the, on the social media platform, we don't have that classic poetry to learn much. Yes. But because the beginners are there, and you have really. Uh, opened up a new topic, so I have taken a few more minutes now to discuss this one. Else. But I would like the uh, members of the fertile brain as well as mm -hmm. that uh, poets present in the event to understand and know and learn and try to do more in classic poetry also than the three verses they are presenting. And really thank you very much, ma'am, for, for uh, reciting this wonderful sonnet. And thank you for attending the event also. Now I would uh, like to hand over the mic to Ms. Ekta Huja again to continue the second lap. Uh, Ms. Ekta, you can take on the charge. Thank you so oh. much, dear. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Shilpa ji, once again. So, uh, a wonderful uh, verses uh, by Purnima ji. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, the next guest uh, is Mr. Mohanlal Verma. Mr. Uh, Mohanlal ji, are you there? Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Oh, okay. So the mic is all yours now to present your work. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I would like to recite my poem without any formality. Uh, blooming flowers, swaying birds. Blooming flowers, swaying birds, fragrant from the rising fields. Sparkling mountains, flowering rivulets in zigzag way, blowing cool breeze on a monsoon day. Blowing cool breeze on a monsoon day. Giggling babes, bathing in heavy rain. Playing children, making a running train. Giggling babes, Bathing in a heavy rain, playing children, making a running train, enjoying heat of embers in cold nights, beholding the gorgeous sea during a flight, beholding the gorgeous sea during a flight, resting on the heaving breast of beloved, lying in a meadow, resting on the heaving breast of beloved, lying in a meadow, Listening the songs of love from cuckoo in sound flow, 
embracing sweet building her sweet lips, forgetting oneself in the love, fondling her gorgeous lips. Tell me the person who doesn't want to taste a flower, tell flower. Tell me the person who doesn't want to taste the flower, really a thing of beauty is joy forever. Really a thing of beauty is joy forever. Thank you very much. Wow. So beautifully, uh, you, you took this line and used in the poem and uh, the way uh, you expressed these little words like cold breeze, the mountains and the, you know, the meadows, everything, you know, you took us there. Thank you for sharing. Welcome. So, so the next guest is Dr. T. Srilatha. Dr. T. Srilatha, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so now you can present your work. Thank you. Uh, first of all, let me extend my heartful thanks to uh, Brother Prasanna Kumar and the team of Hotel Brains and my dear Purtima Kulakarni, who is there in this lab now. And uh, the theme of the poems today is the thing of beauty is a joy forever it is uh, a really a sentence on which we can speak for years and years. And as said, the title of my poem comes, Beauty is for Beauty's Sake. And as we all know, each could see beauty in everything under the sky, even autumn season, where he says, where are the songs of spring? Oh, hey, where are they? Think not of them. Thou has thy music too. So here, for a moment, he seems feeling sorry for missing the beauties of spring season. But Immediately he feels, yes, there is a lot of beauty of autumn in front of my eyes. That's how uh, kids could see beauty in everything under the sky. Now let me recite my poem. The title is Beauty is for Beauty's Sake. An infant's sweet smile is a flower in full bloom. A mother's beauty lies in the scars of her womb. A father's beauty radiates after he sleeps in the tomb. Beauty is a religion that never, ever lets you do. Everything below the sky is very truly beautiful. Everything under the eye is more justly delightful. Everything within the eye is ever rightly bountiful. Beauty is a faith that averts you from the sinful. Unheard melodies of birds are forever sweet. Unseen baby in a mother's womb is ever a treat. Unreal fantasy of alkies bestow them no retreat. Beauty is truth, garlands, that garlands the Almighty's feet. Beauty is truth that garlands the Almighty's feet. A thing of beauty is ever a delight to a perceiver. A thing of beauty is ever a torch for an achiever. A thing of beauty is ever a holy sign to a receiver. Beauty is hence a testimony to check a retriever. Beauty is hence a testimony to check a retriever. Thank you very much for your patience, please. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Dr. T. Srilatha, I would uh, simply uh, would like to say that uh, the way you expressed the beauty in the you know scars of womb was really touching and uh, uh, the unseen baby in the womb. A uh, very beautiful expression. Thank you for sharing this verse. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, so uh, now the next guest uh, whom I would like to invite is Dr. Parvez Shehriyar. Dr. Parvez Shehriyar, are you there? Dr. Parvez Shehriyar. 
I think uh, Dr. Parvez uh, is not there. Uh, Prasanna ji, can you please confirm if he is present? No, no. Okay. Uh, so the next guest is Mr. James Trian. Mr. James Trian. Are you there? I think uh, Mr. James is uh, not there as of now. So uh, you could call Sujata Paul. Whom? Sujata Paul. Uh, Miss Sujata Paul? Yes, yes. Okay, so now I would like to uh, welcome Ms. Sujata Paul. Hello, Sujata ji. The mic is yes. all yours now. Thank you. Thank you so very much, dear Ekta, ma'am. And uh, of course, Kumar Prasanna, sir, the founder of Fertile Brains, for providing such a wonderful stage to share my creations amongst the eminent personalities present here across the globe. So thank you. And uh, <clears throat> I would like to read out my po uh, two of my poems, so simple poems and uh, short ones. The first one is <clears throat> entitled Beauty Everywhere. They say that dark complexioned you are, Unaware of the fact by them is that beauty lies at the eyes of beholder. Note the seven colored rainbow, the sucking baby on a mother's lap. Smell the damp soil after a fresh shower. Feel the restless wind that is not visible in any map. Since fellow feeling and love grows within one, Thus, beauty increases and one could enjoy beauty with laughter and fun. Put on the most beautiful thing in your lips like smile that is more expensive than any other cosmetic and one could win the heart of or our soul. And the second one entitled Heavenly Beauty. I met with a little lass on the way of my morning walk. So innocent and cute she was, I couldn't but stare at her. The little princess was accompanied by her mom, but she was running and flying in the street with all her freedom. Curly hair, cute smile, and her beautiful gesture made me instantly an ardent lover of hers. Abruptly, I got envious of her. If I could transform myself to the same period of her, but oh God, time and tide wait for none. Wish for that little creature. May she enjoy the earth's all grace, fragrance and flavor and happiness showered upon her all through the year. Thank you so very much. Lovely. So Jataji, uh, the simple words beautified the poem and we were just, uh, we were just able to imagine uh, whatever uh, uh, you were trying to impart through your words. Thank you for sharing uh, beautiful verses. Thank you so very much. So uh, next I would like to invite uh, Mr. Dipanjan Bhattacharya ji. Mr. Dipanjan, are you there? Poet Dipanjan? I think uh, uh, he is also not present as of now. Um, so now again, uh, the next one is Mr. Somin Roy. Mr. Somin Roy. Yeah, I'm 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 okay, so Mr. Shaman, uh, the mic is all yours now. Thank you for having me over the show. Uh, first of all, I like how uh, Mr. Shaman, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I think your video is uh, not on. Oh, sorry. Actually, I'm not habitable with all this thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I have not people only two special or local. The thing is like the thing of beauty is to just enjoy forever. And beauty is the kind of who I personally believe. Beauty is uh, something that is uh, sitting in time because I'm very uh, the close to time. And I think uh, beauty is always uh, enjoying the same time. And childhood is such a place 
that remains with us till the end of time. So my own is like this special childhood. I'm reading the one, this special childhood. Women with jobs, but no, sorry. Women with smile, turn to no of jobs. Only cry a one, and hold the sky, all in a rush. Wish to fly high in the sky, like an eagle with its wings, and like a cow with its wings. No wonder how I'm then, but happy, so happy, all in a sudden, not a state without any stress, without together, no limit to let, little fingers to clutch, plenty of pain, no refraining, perspective, when bumping, if energy flows at sea, nature is smiling. And stress is formal. In a few cluster, quickly, I learn in the drum art form. Then it is speculation, and the more you put program, learn no song or any law, but act in written or in drop, without any complication to the art business. Thank you. Nice. It's a beautiful verse, uh, Mr. Shaman. Though I would like to say that uh, the voice in the middle was not very clear. Uh, I don't know, maybe due to the mobile mic in the uh, wrong direction. But uh, the. Uh, I was not happy with all these things. I'm very So let me clear also. Mm -hmm. it no, not an issue, but it was a beautiful verse on the, the, the way you expressed. Uh, about a child uh, is a really appreciable and a beautiful verse. Thank you for sharing. So the next guest is uh, Miss uh, Miss Sita Sita Luri Padmavati. Am yeah. I? Uh, um, yeah, I'm here. Name correctly? Yeah. Name? Yeah, Padmavati. You can call me Padma or Padmavati. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Padmavati ji. Now the mic is all yours. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ekta, for inviting me. Good evening, everyone, the chief guest, the guest of honor, and all the members of the team, the Fertile Brains. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to recite my poem. So I believe beauty is all around us. You can see beauty in the nature, among people, everywhere. So based on that, I have just been a small poem. Here is my poem. I astonishingly gaze at the azure sky, river valleys, and the, and the mighty mountainous road, as if I lose this precious moment to hold fast to my dreams in my chained hands. The tidal music in the brook, the roaring sound of the sea, the silent sandy beach, Mesmerize me for a second. I adorably see the flora and fauna as if I lose this golden opportunity to relax in the moonlit night. I look at the folks of different tribes, complexions and physical features as everyone appears gorgeous to my eyes. I carefully grab this minute as if I lose this memorable moment. A thing of beauty is a joy forever and beauty lies in the eyes of a beholder. Thank you. Yes, that, that was wonderful. The little uh, things you said, dreams in my chained hands and uh, 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 different other things uh, these are these are very simple things but uh, the beauty the impression they have on different people is different so yeah. thank you for sharing a uh, beautiful words thank you thanks thank you ekta thank you these uh, so i think i'm done with my list uh, and now i would uh, uh, like to hand over the mic to uh, Shilpa ji. But uh, Shilpa ji, uh, there were uh, two, uh, three guests which were not there, who, who were not there. So I think we can call them later. 
yeah if they are they are present right now you can continue otherwise we will call them later i think you are there till the end of the program end of the program okay yeah. then you can call your members again i'll uh, again call you upon on the mic or whenever they join we can uh, after every uh, lap ends i will uh, you just inform me if okay. they have to, then, do, you, uh, do you want do you want me to call them once now give a give a call to them if they are present they will uh, appear otherwise we, we can move on to third uh, lap and so uh, uh, dr parvez shehriar he is not there I think uh, Mr. James Shyan and Mr. Right. Dipanjan Bhattacharya ji. Mr. Dipanjan oh, and Mr. James was there, I think, in between. Maybe they are not there, so we can move on. Uh, thank okay. you, Ekta, for conducting this uh, uh, second uh, lap very uh, successfully and. uh again uh, i thank you on behalf of the whole team for uh, being with us uh, since uh, we started and uh, now i will uh, first introduce our third guest of honor ms uh, parmita mukherjee malik and uh, i'll give a brief introduction of uh, ms parmita dr parmita and uh, then hand over the charge to Delta Castro for the third lap. So first, I would introduce uh, Parmita Mukherjee Malik. She is a scientist, a national scholar, internationally acclaimed, award-winning poet, and she has written eight books. And her poems are translated into thirty-nine languages and published at national and international level. And also, she has she is one of the person who tries to create awareness to poetry. for uh, climatic changes and conservation of the nature as well as she received numerous awards for her many literary concerns uh, one or two of them are gold rose award from ms production and buenos aires argentina for promotion of literature and cultural and uh, she is also a cultural convener and literature coordinator of isisar and uh, one of our famous singers anup jalota who is a padma shri also song an english song for the first time on uh, the poem written by ms parmita love grows uh, and uh, she also has featured as a perfect woman in a magazine and received many prestigious awards also uh, now i would like to uh, welcome dr parmita Parmita Mukherjee Malik and to take hold of uh, her mic and uh, say a few words for our event today a thing of beauty is a joy forever Dr Parmita Mukherjee Malik please uh, join yes. us and welcome to the event uh, organized by Dr Brother Pras Prasanna and the entire team of Patel Brain please welcome to the event and say a few a few words on today's topic thank you so much shilpa ji thank you so much prasanna for inviting me here uh, this is such a lovely quote of uh, keats that a thing of beauty is a joy forever when i was thinking this i felt that poetry is also a thing of beauty so poetry is also a joy forever so i just want to talk a little about how i feel and all of you esteemed poets and wonderful people out there you will always be with me when i uh, say that poetry is a thing of beauty and it will be there forever and ever so i've just uh, themed my topic this way now so if you see that human emotions and seasons have been there for eons and eons so will poetry poetry which is basically written on human emotions we are basically writing on human emotions and human emotions will be there for so it will be there forever and ever so poetry will also be there as poetry makes emotions immortal poetry is itself 
immortal. Poetry is about knowledge. Poetry is about emotions. Poetry is about imagination. As long as humans will have emotion and imagination, poetry will be there. Again, like we come to the point of beauty here, we always say anything we describe, you know, whether it's music, whether it's painting, we'll always say as beautiful as poetry. So I feel poetry is the other name of beauty. Again, the theme of us reminds us a thing of beauty is a joy forever. And again, I come back to my title again. So poetry will be there forever. Now, if, if you have gone to Vatican City and seen the beautiful St. Peter's Basilica, St. Peter at St. Basilica, the St. Peter's Dome out there, you've seen the beautiful painting of Michelangelo. It's so many years has passed, but you know, thousands go there to see his painting, see Michelangelo's painting. So this painting is there forever and ever and ever until unless God forbid it's destroyed, but the painting will be there forever. So will like, like if you say that, so, so Da Vinci had said, painting is poetry that is seen rather than felt and poetry is painting that is felt rather than seen. So here you see again that poetry like any beautiful painting will be forever. And so the poetry is expression of ideas, the expression of dreams. This quote Valerie Radot has said, without dreams, there can be no poetry and without poetry, there is no life bearable. So again, a connection between dreams and poetry. So from the very advent of human existence, humans have dreamt until the day end, they will dream. So will poetry be there forever. And lastly, Poetry is about feelings, about love. Love makes the world go round, and so does poetry. So I want to uh, recite a little poem of mine just now. Shilpaji very sweetly said a video of mine, Love Grows. So I would love, I always believe that love takes the world around. Love is very, very important in our lives. So I'd love to recite my poem, Love Grows. When life passes by and by, when you want to leap and reach the sky, when you first fall in love, it is mere attraction, not the deep rooted love. <clears throat> love grows by and by. Love, love expands like the unending sky. Love has no definition. It is neither mere fascination. It is something which grows with age. It is a lifelong process, not a short phase. Love grows by and by. It is like the unending blue sky. Love is not a fairy tale. True love can, though stories fail. In love, thoughts count. When you need him, he is around. It's nice to know that love is around. It's nice to know that in love you abound. A life encompassed in love has no end. Life ends, but love never ends. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Paramita ji, for the wonderful recitation of your poem, Love Grows, as well as uh, highlighting about few people who were centuries ago on our planet and who were wonderful uh, creative people like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo and also mentioning about the paintings of Michelangelo which were at that period were made without any help from the technology or anything and still it exists in its beauty and we cannot create it right now also with so much of advancement and of so much of facilities because we don't have that creativity inside us Usually the beauty comes with the creativity as well as the original ideas. So these people, Leonardo da Vinci and Michael Angelo, they were the people who literally had some spark in them, which they left it forever, which you can say a thing of beauty is a joy forever, as well as you, you have really uh, given a wonderful recitation of uh, your uh, poem also, Love Grows, and it has a very 
like law uh, it has a depth which you are you have really uh, actually said that initially it is a mere attraction and later on it goes deep rooted and it grows and expands and it really becomes love so thank you for uh, being here and also expressing uh, your feelings as well as uh, giving us some direction uh, about uh, the topic also as well as about how to uh, get inspired by few people around us and few things around us and uh, now i would like to thank you from uh, the entire team of fertile uh, brains as well as i'll uh, give the mic to, to ms jelda castro to conduct the third lap uh, ms jelda castro can you take the charge please hello hello yeah. everyone i'd like to tell you that each one of you are like stars are shining on this sunday great to all you um, and I would like to welcome you on this third lap with short lines uh, with this STEMI given entitled We as Life are Beautiful. Because life is beautiful, a built thing is joy forever, like a strong, unbreakable bond wherever we are. Built is our essence, not seen, but felt, moved from heart to heart, expressing our best. Making sure beautiness in thought is a neat choice and rejoice can be found here and now, making we all shine. Okay, let me now to call our first guest on this third lap. I'd like to call Mr. Isaac Cohen. Please, Mr. Isaac Cohen. Yeah. Come in. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Persana. Thank you, Gelda. Thank you, Permita and Kanhuri uh, and all my friends in the world. Uh, I the coin uh, to my to my wife you're not coin belts I the coin the tower of love I saw your eyes at the folklore dance event I stepped up the pet of your art over time your beauty increased until the day i saw your heavenly image the dragon flies flew over the lake of beauty I will become an old man, but your beauty will last forever. Thank you, Adekorn. Wow, Isai. beautiful wow. lines indeed. Thank, Thank you. you so much, poet. And now I'd like to call Miss Manju Yadav. Are you there, Hello. Miss? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the Fertile team uh, for this beautiful opportunity. That's also a joy forever. And if you're talking about uh, beauty and joy, of course, we cannot leave behind the beauty of life and love. That's something makes us strong in this world and face the life. So my poem title is Beauty of Life is Forever. Life is a beautiful dream. Life is a beautiful dream and it isn't easy to stop dreaming in a day. Carry the materialistic impositions in minds and leaving the serenity of life away. It's not easy to stop dreaming in a day. 
Why is this journey so beautiful, yet so discomforting? Yet I'm opting this life every day. The passion and the love are not for all. Neither all can dare to afford to love and preserve the beauty of life forever. It's like the water. It's like the water some touch and get their hands wet. Some dive in its depth and feel it at their heart. Love is like those left sand pieces in your palm. Love is like those left sand pieces in your palm that some like to preserve and some get rid of. Some like to look at the remaining particles of sand with all the love they have. Beauty of life is forever. If only we can learn to decorate the flowers and thorns of life in their own ways. They come to teach and make us bloom. And so I say, life is a beautiful dream and it isn't easy to stop dreaming in a day. It's not easy to stop dreaming in a day. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Beautiful, Linus. Beautiful. Thank you so very much, dear. Thank you. And now I'm going to call Miss Alexander Psaropolo. Are you there, dear? Hello, can you see the graphics? Hello, Alexandra, welcome, dear. Yeah. Hello, thank you. Uh, hello from Greece, and I hope you can see the graphics going by. Kumar, you can see the, bra the graphics? Yeah. Uh, yes, we can uh, definitely see the graphics. Okay, thank you. The flying is high. The flying is high. The flying is the highest. It lasts forever. Take me on the turquoise horse over the hay fields into the sun forever. High mountains flying right, no crash landing. Deep ravines, rivers flowing, eagles above. Taking me on the turquoise horse. Love, freedom, poetry. If you can accept the windings of my mind, if you can trust the reality of my fantasies, living in the strange wonders and genuine pleasures of this world and other worlds, living where fantasy and reality merge, following the intuition and the intuitions of the past, following the invisible and the visible, lying by the sea under the olive tree. Open and ready, it's all changing. Don't think hard of the ghosts of the past, where energy is rewarded, where life gives it all. At 14 and 16, they prepared me for you, taking me on the turquoise horse, over the wild flowers, into the wind and fire, forever. The flying is high, the flying is high, the flying is the highest. It is absolute. Thank you. Beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, beautiful. Thank you for presenting us this creative way to recite. Thank you I so. Hope you, I hope the graphics were all visible. Great way, different way to present it us. Thank you for your creativity. Uh, I'm going to call now Dr. Sudipta Misra. Hi, everyone. Am I audible? Hello, hello, dear. Yes, Come in. Okay. This is Sudipta from the rich heritage city, Puri. Without wasting your valuable time, let me recite my poetry, 
which I have dedicated to the versatile treasure like line of John Keats. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. O Lord, often I seek refuse in thy infinite realm. The glorious sun many times nurtures my ever bonding spirit. Often I listen to the silent moments of velvety nights. Starry night captivates my silvery dreams. I try to connect with the unseen depth of the endless push, with the peeping of curious moon into my cot. Often I forget to sleep with an ever-growing pattern. With diverse emotions, I fall into the mystic cage. Again, my soul, pregnant with the vision of a glorious morn, begins to wave countless verses by creating such infinite recreation. Nature quenches my curious senses. Oh God, in such a cosmic celebration, I crave to bow in this eternal treasure. I praise and long to observe in your joyous creation. Let this school unravel the mystery behind such never ending place. Complete. Wow, beautifully written, beautifully. Wow. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Now I'd like to call Dr. Kumud Bala. Please. Dr. Kumud Bala, please. I can't hear. <clears throat> Dr. Kumud, can you hear me? No. Hello there. Sorry, I don't know you, but I can't hear. All you are hearing? No, yes, ma'am, nothing is heard. Nothing yes, is you are audible. Only you are audible. Okay. I'm late today, but I want to read my poem, if allowed. Uh, Mr. Parvesh, here, just to wait for two minutes. So let the sound be over and we will call you. Okay. Oh, but thank you. Ms. Jenta. Ms. Ekumud Bala, are there? Is there? She isn't, she isn't here, Gilda. Uh, Jelda, I don't think she's in the participants. Yeah, she's not here. Okay, so let me, let me call. Miss Nivedita Roy. Thank you, Gelda. Greetings from Bahrain to all the lovely people gathered here from all over the world. And oh, I would see. like to first express my heartfelt gratitude to the vibrant team of uh, Fertile Brains. This is the Welcome first time I'm coming us. across. Thank you. And lots of love from Bahrain to all the esteemed guests present here. And yes, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. And uh, all the mothers and all the fathers will agree with me, I'm sure, to say the most beautiful thing that brings us joy throughout our lives is our children, our offspring. Uh, Gelda, may I make a request? Other than you, there is some mic which is on and which is bringing a lot of crash sound there. So could you uh, like request somebody to... I'm hearing, I'm hearing you very well. No, I can hear a crash, crash, crash sound there. Uh, Dr. Parvez, uh, could you mute yourself? Yes, Andrew? yes, I'm, I'm going to oh. mute me. 
myself. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, so my poem is titled Your Inheritance, Your Legacy, which is dedicated to my offspring, my children. Your inheritance, your legacy is the unseen too. We hand over a part of our lives to you. It would be the many moments of joy and togetherness. The realization that love matters the most for our happiness. The acceptance of everyone's flaws, doing more, expecting less. There is a vast ocean to make a choice, to choose if you want to run a race or enjoy each breath and be the ace. What you do achieve is yours, but pride definitely is ours. There shall be encounters unpalatable, which will test your temperance. In those moments of turmoil, my children, in those moments of turmoil, you shall hold on to your forbearance. Be grateful for the gift of life. Rest is God's grace and your willingness to fall or rise. Thank you, my friends. Wow. Thank you for your beautiful presentation. Thank you. Guys, now I'd like to call this timid poet, Dr. Kumar Malai, please. Good evening. Am I audible? Hello? Come Hello. in. Am I audible, ma'am? Is yes, my sir, voice? You are audible. Yes, you are audible. Okay, thank it's you. Thank turn. you so much. Yes. Uh, my poem goes like this. Full of words, full of emotion, full of zeal, full of passion. Life never seemed so beautiful as in her presence. She is an unending reservoir, an everlasting bliss to my smile and happiness. Every syllable reflects her beauty. Words are soaked with her elegance. A sublime feeling, so mesmerizing, so oblivious is her impact. Her effect turns out to be opium, so slumberous, so lost, so reworn, forgetting my existence, revolving round her presence. She, the serenity incarnate, blissful, unprejudiced nature, amalgamating with my verse, oh, my poesy, I feel so slumberous so lost and so reborn. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, superbly done, sir. Thank you so very much. Guys, I'd like now to call Miss Jayashri Bray. Sorry for my pronunciation about English, Indian name is. Is Miss Jayashri Ray there? I guess she is absent. So let me call Miss Manju Vishwabharat. Miss Manju is there? Good evening, dear Paul Prince. Uh, I hope that I'm audible. Welcome to you. Thank you, uh, Prasanna ji, for the invite. And here is my uh, poetic response to John Keats's line, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. World is beauty dwell. So that is the title of my poem. Is it in the limbs, the honey-like complexion, or the visage, or is it in the depths of your being that beauty has its abode? Or is it in the green woods and the song of a bird in the first flush of morning? Everything material comes to an end, like an utterance followed by an inevitable course, save when rendered timeless by art. 
to the brush strokes of words. And then it becomes a joy for centuries to behold and adore. Thank you. Wow, wonderfully written, wonderful. Thank you so very much. And now guys, um, the last one of my list is Dr. Laxmi, Laxmi Kanta Dash. Is there? Please, Dr. Laxmi Kanta Dash. I guess, I guess it's absent. So guys. Hello? There is a technical error. Are you here? Mr. Lakshmi Das, are you here? Okay. Some technical error is that he is audible, but I can't see. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir, you are audible. Can I read my poem? Hello. 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 Ma'am, can I leave or should I read my poem? Uh, Mr. Parvez, just wait for a minute. One last participant okay. of third Thank round, you. and then Thank I'll you. call. So I am in a queue. That is uh, no, satisfactory for me. Okay. Lab, yeah. <laughs> in fourth okay. lap, again, Ms. Sunita will call you. I'll tell her to call you also. Okay. Because Actually, I missed my part. second slot. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. No problem. Uh, I think the Mr. Lakshmikant is not audible, Zelda. Uh, the, uh, um, uh, Dr. Lakshmikantadash was the last one of my list. Okay, thank you for conducting the third lap and I'm thankful on behalf of the entire team for... Thank you for all the poets present here on this lab. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for conducting it beautifully and now I would like to uh, call upon Ms. Sunita Hussain to take on the charge for the fourth lap. Uh, Ms. Sunita. Yes. Uh, thank you, Shilpa. Thanks a lot. And just Meetings. one minute, I have a request. Uh, yeah, Mr. sure. Is, uh, he missed his lap and now he is uh -huh. uh, insisting that he wants to recite the poem. So can you give him a chance either in the beginning or at the end of the lap of your... Definitely, definitely. He will be called upon in the beginning itself. Uh, Thank you for joining this event, Sunita, and it has always been a, a joy always to be with all of you in the events and also Same conduct yes, the events yes. together. And Same you yes. can take over the charge and start and begin with your uh, you. lap. Shilpa, pleasure is mutual. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Greetings of the day to everyone, since we are in different time zones. And uh, I really thank from the core of my heart, the program host, Ms. Shilpa A, honorable guest, uh, Ms. Kasturika Mishra, guest of honor, Dr. Purnima Kulkarni, who enlightened us on a number of things related to uh, John Keats and the uh, chief guest of honor, Dr. Paramita Mukherjee Mole. And uh, all Prasanna Bhai, to conduct uh, and organize such event. Fertile brain is uh, really near to everyone's heart and it gives me pleasure uh, to host this event and to be the part of Fertile Brains. And uh, Jelda, uh, very well conducted by you, the third lap. Before I start with this uh, lap, I would like to, uh, A Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever by John Keats, one of my favorites. And I feel uh, every literary person, every academia uh, loves it from the core of their heart. 
Keats is Shakespeare of poetry, we all believe. I uh, listen to uh, most of the poets, although joined a bit late due to some uh, unforeseen circumstances, but every poet had a different take, a different take on a thing of beauty is a joy forever, someone uh, dedicated to the uh, children, uh, someone to the creativity, even Shilpa discussed in between. Beauty is not physical, I believe. It is ethereal. It is in everything. I think uh, someone is having the mic on. Uh, I request that person, Aftab ji, your mic is on. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Beauty is not physical. It's ethereal it is in everything not everyone sees it it is joyous when pious comes from within creates aura of serenity amidst peace soothing music reflects heightened sense of sweetness a magnetic resonance gives out the notes of compassion full of passion beauty is much beyond we think of gives joy beyond time and mind thanks a, a lot everyone to be the part of this may i start with the one who missed uh, who was missed out in the earlier lap maybe the person was not there i would like to invite dr parvez sharia to recite his poem dr parvez oh, oh, thank you so much and greeting to all of you uh, it is a pleasure for I me that uh, uh, Anna Ji has asked me to join this uh, event. This is a, a great opportunity for me to share my poem with all of you, the honorable poets. Our, our pleasure too, sir. Our pleasure yeah. too. So the title of my poem is uh, A Thing of Beauty. Why Taj Mahal looks uh, such a wonder? Why Taj Mahal looks such a wonder, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. We human beings should labor hard to make this world a place of splendor. We should never give up our loves like Lala Majno, like Julius Caesar. Learn how to sacrifice your valuables. Learn how to sacrifice your valuables if you want to make a friend forever. If your is divine love instead of mundane, if your love is, if your is a divine love instead of mundane, shed your ego and keep away your anger. The fire of temptation, jealousy and greediness the fire of temptation, jealousy, greediness, it may someday put your life in a danger. God is truth as well as the truth is God. God is truth as well as the truth is God, said by God's apostle, God's messenger. Last stanza: a clever man loses his faith and conviction. A clever man loses his faith and conviction. A simpleton's faith in God grows stronger. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving a chance. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot, Dr. Parvez Shariarji, for being here and uh, reciting your poem. Welcome, sir, always. Now I would like to call upon our next creator, poet, Mr. Renu Kuntala Murali. Mr. Renu Kuntala Murali. Hello. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good evening, all. Is it audible and visible? Hello. Yes, sir, you are audible and visible also.
a thing of beauty, joy forever. Saying, John Keats, my response is here. First of all, I'm very thankful to Prasanna Kumar Ji and all the duties of this program. Beauty is seen everywhere. When we have passion and zeal to enjoy, beauty is seen everywhere. When we have passion and zeal to enjoy, it can be seen in sunlight, it can be seen in sunlight, moonlight, trees, flowers, birds. It can be seen in the always when the workers sing the folk song and the people usually play in the moonlight in full moon day in the full light full moon day beauty can be heard beauty can be heard the light when the wind singing and then chanting the mantras as slokas beauty is in your soul your soul is beautiful me beauty is myself and all is having positive attitude and happy dreams and thoughts our parents our children and myself and the all things which are surrounding us are beautiful when we think in positive when we have the sense of positive beauty is all around us all or different and all are beautiful all are different and all are beautiful beauty gives us good health and gives gifts and sanity for our lives resulting in everlasting joy resulting in everlasting joy if we go to the forest and the see the green trees and the beautiful flowing rivers lakes fountains who get enjoyment of beauty thank you world all thank you very much thank you this thanks a lot sir for expressing your thoughts in such a beautiful manner thanks a lot sir now i would like to call upon miss poonam thanks. chawla sood now i would like to call upon miss poonam chawla sood Miss Poonam Chawla Sood, I don't think she's here. Mr. Next one, I'm calling upon Mr. Dane Ink. Mr. Dane Ink. Yes. Hi. Thank you very much. I'm here. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. It was quite an honor uh, to be in such an august group of uh, uh, poets and and writers. Uh, thank you very much. I would like to ask that people check their microphones and make sure they're muted before I start uh, my poetry. I can see some people don't have their mics uh, muted. Uh, also, I wanted to let people... Yeah, Murali, sir, can you please uh, put off your mic? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, thank you very much. Uh, this this happens, and uh, I just wanted to say also I ho I host an open mic on Tuesday nights at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, San Francisco, California time, and that may be an odd time for you folks, but I hope that uh, that you you will come if you get an, a chance to. 
uh, come and share poetry. That would uh, be uh, very lovely. I would greatly appreciate it. And so would uh, all the other poets who regularly uh, attend that event. And uh, uh, thanks very much, uh, everyone, for, for, for having us and hosting this event. Now, uh, let, me, let me find my uh, poem. Hold on a second here. This title of this poem is called Rain. There is confusion, identity correct, a candle flame, immortalized rest of days, to become nothing, never pass unto this. To be such beauty in the eyes of love, how does this ember burn? You married Icarus on the bus with the mask, all down dead. For not living up to that forever, forever now. You, Iphanaesa, crash on this wave of joy. Where does this fit forever live? This shepherd begs for prey. Selene makes a king because of this, the riddle is rain. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, a beautiful one. Now I would like to call upon the next person, Mr. Don Krieger. Mr. Don Krieger. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sumita. And thank you, Prasanna, for, for inviting me. And thank you, everyone, for being here. I have a, uh, an ekphrastic poem. And uh, this is the painting. The painting is entitled Purgatorio. Purgatory, which is a, a Christian concept of a place where people wait before they go to heaven or hell after their death. It was painted by Cristobal Rojas, a Venezuelan painter who lived for 32 years only and died in 1890. Ascent from Purgatory. We sought to bind the world, words and color, music and beauty. We were refugees from Babel, together in kindness, fire, skin, and sweat. We know our own sins, so often repeated, yet surely not a bar to paradise, perhaps for a year or even 10,000, but surely the beauty we made for others can be ours too. Yet we bear such sorrow for each of us lost, even though to paradise, Forgive me, my brothers, that I leave you, for I must die first. That's Ascent from Purgatory. Beautiful, sir, that beauty even exists when we are being weighed in various before we get our judgment. Now I would like to call upon Miss Tish Annie Ng to recite her poem. Miss Tish Annie Ng. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just turn that down. Welcome. Sorry. Um, okay. Um, Tish Ince, poet. Um, uh, I'm married to Dane Ince, <laughs> um, and I. Uh, was a widow and this is a poem I've written uh, uh, in remembrance of my late husband. This is called Recalling Summer Sun. There was no end to its radiance. We swallow summers and mouth them into clouds as if our sky dragons needed more like apricot jam on white buttered bread, laying in the grass, hands clasped behind strawberry fingered sticky curls, on warm blankets, explorers of the cirrus, 
adventurers of Avalon dreams. Till the cool dusk, watching the sun inch toward magenta horizons across our sleepy cricket hollows, we will follow soon. Carrying slippers and empty flutes of champagne. Now you are gone like summer's last. Sunset memories still warm. No more of these darling days with you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would like to call upon Dr. Rupali Sarkar Gaur to recite her words. Uh, good evening. Uh, all dear friends here. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. You are very much audible. Thank you so much, uh, Sunita and Ekta and Shirpa and all the wonderful people who run the show and, of course, Prasanna. Uh, it's been a great, um, you know, in the last two years, uh, you know, since the pandemic, we've been uh, writing a lot of poetry, listening to so much of poetry. But I kept thinking that somewhere we were losing the great poets, you know, we were forgetting them. We were so keen to you know, tell our story that we had forgotten these great poets. It's wonderful that today, you know, we are remembering this great poet, John Keats and his famous lines. And I think that this should become a trend where we do bring in these very renowned poets whom we are forgetting. Now, the moment I thought of uh, Joy, um, and it's a very tiny little poem that I have written. Uh, it's called, A Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever, A Grandmother's Tale. I tried to concretize, you know, it just came in a very concrete sort of way, uh, instead of an abstract thing of what is joy and what is beauty. So this is when I first saw my grandson, you know, the moment I saw my grandson. So it's a grandmother's tale. Five very small finger, clutched tight my forefinger. Minutes after breathing in the first gush of life, an antiseptic blue masked room unromantically called a labor room brought such beauty into my life since then i chew the cud of happiness forever recall recalling in tranquility and in despair that moment of joy since then it has been for me a beauteous thing and a joy forever thank you Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful feeling to be the grandmother and the way you have shared. Thank you, ma'am. Now Thank I would like, to... ma'am. Now I would like to invite Miss Eva Lino. Please forgive my pronunciation for the proper nouns. Miss Eva. Do we have her here? Miss Eva. I don't think she, right now she's available. So I would like to request Mr. Tom Edward Phillips to recite his words. Mr. Tom Edward. Thank you, hi. Yeah, hello, hello. Thank you so much, Sunita. And, and thank you everyone. It's been great okay. hearing all your poems and, and to be part of this and to see so many now familiar faces. It's lovely. Um, uh, it, it was interesting when I saw the topic, it made me think of another British poet that I, I'm very fond of. Uh, who also died young, in fact, um, a poet called Alan Lewis, um, and his poem, Raider's Dawn, and I've used that as the little epigraph to my poem, as you will see. Um, uh, so this poem is just called Brought Into Focus, and the, the, the epigraph to the poem from Alan Lewis, Raider's Dawn, is blue necklace left on a charred chair tells that beauty was startled there. And my poem continues. So fleeting, the sprig of lightning over a crag, 
spider web gleams in a hedge, human face reflected in glass, yet also a shield bug sheen, roving pale leafage, wood smoke drifts, bluing stream sun glints, sea glitter, ramparts, bombsite ragworts, curve of a long bay whose scarp erodes with deep time. So invitations garnered among these crabbed roof beams, scree scattering valleys unpreserved for any reason. Or in this painting, hyper-realist of oil refinery tanks, the wrench as detailed as the worker's hand that grips it. Where we look is a decision, not seeing things entire. The moon squints from inside its penumbra of cloud, and a house might flatten to an oblong turned edgewise with practice in slackening degrees of concentration. Just as when the world sketched in blur tunnels our first sight and our eyes dis distinguish where their eye will become. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tom Edward Phillips for the beautiful poem. And it's wondrous to listen to different interpretations to Keith's line, a thing of beauty is a joy, uh, joy forever. Now I would like to request Miss Lopa Mudra Mishra ji to take charge of the mic for her recitation. Miss Lopa Mudra Mishra ji. She's not there. She's not available right now in the list of participants. She's not here. She's not here. Oh. The next one in the row is Mr. Mohan Lal Verma. Mr. Mohan Lal Verma. He's, he has presented his poem, Sunita Ji. Okay, okay, fine. Then uh, last one in this lap, but not the least, Mr. Vinod Kumar. Mr. Vinod Kumar. Even I think not, not, not available. Uh, um, Sunita, can you do me a favor on the chat list? Sure. Uh, Mr. Aftab Tariq is insisting. To yes. his voice. If he's yeah. there, step on and call him on for his uh, Sure. Mr. Aftab Tare. Mr. Aftab Tare, can you please take charge of the mic? Okay. Hello, uh, man. You are not visible. You are not visible. Even your voice is cracking, Aftab. Keep the camera on and come into network. Am I visible? Am I visible now? Your voice is cracking. It's lagging like. So, what is it? 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 Mr. Aftab, you come to the network. Do you have proper network? I am in the network. Your voice is lagging. Yes, yes. I am in the network. There are some network issues, I feel, Shilpa, at his end. Yes, there is a technical error. Last time also he missed because of this. He was always okay. there, but his network ka kuch issue ho hai every time. So, our crack ho hai and uh, not able to hear or see him properly. Uh, just for me, I'll wait for you, Mr. Aftab. Maybe next round I'll call, ask Mr. Satish to call you upon. Uh, Shilpa, I hand over the baton back to you. You are yes. a wonderful host of the program. Thank and you, I also Mr. welcome Satish Ji for the next. Yeah, thank you Good for uh, all appreciation. Good evening, ma'am. 
Good evening. One minute. Who is there? I am Joyce Ray. Oh, one minute. One minute. One minute. I am missing. Uh, I am missing my uh, uh, slot. One minute. Miss Sunita will call you just now. Just one minute. Sunita, just take the charge and call her. Yes. Now I would like to request Miss Jeshri Ray to recite her words. Miss Jeshri. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Am I audible? Audible, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. My date. My date with the spring. My poetry is related with my inner beauty and hunting my nature from my nature my dear just receive your message on the unwritten letter which i don't have time to go through you tell me the changes in the nature biological environmental and what not or the effect of the tussle between the El Nino and La Nina. But I can only see the riots of colors in the busy streets of the metropolis. Countless Bougain values or fancy. Tragedy is we now speak and think only through the SMS, FB and tweets. We are trapped in the spectrum. My body wants to respond to all immortal ragas, Bhairavi, Miyaki, Teri, and Iman Kalyan. My dear spring, your message sounds as sweet as the cluttering of the birds. My dear, just receive your message on the unwritten letter, which I don't have time to go through. My date with the spring. So beauty is spring, and beauty is my inner mind, which I utter from spring. Thank you very much. Thanks to all. Okay. Thanks a lot, Ms. Jashwini. Beautiful Thanks one. That it is the beauty is the call of the inner one, the soul, basically. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, now, Shilpa, back to you. Thank you. And it was really wonderful to hear your words also, Sunita. And it was a beautiful mm -hmm. verse. And uh, though it was very short, I would like to hear more from you, more recitations and more poetic verses from you very soon. And uh, thanks for being here with us. And thank you from thanks the so internet. Much. Also, again, thank for I am grateful. I am, I am very much grateful. And I am very much thankful. Thank you, Ms. Jayashri Roy. Uh, one thing I would like to say that in today's world of technology and artificial intelligence, we are all trapped and we are losing slowly one by one. Things are dying inside us. We are not able to reach out as earlier. The things yeah, are yeah. Yeah, yeah. earlier are not now because we are not yeah. getting connected, whether it is yeah. news, whether it is nature, whether it is the chirping of the birds. We are not connecting ourselves now. That's why we are losing our soul ourselves. So thank you for highlighting that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the fifth lap, uh, I would like to call Dr. Satish Srivastav, who has been with us uh, in the Fertile Brains team from the beginning. Dr. Satish Srivastav, uh, can you take on the charge for the fifth lap and uh, conduct the event, last lap of the event? Dr. Satish Srivastav. Well, Pupa. Hi. Well, Silpa, right? So you can take on the charge, uh, Dr. Sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, before proceeding, I would like to recite one of my poetry. Yes, sir. Because, because we are now on the verge of a meeting that uh, beauty shikhar please come bring it volume down down kar do put it down and give it
Where is it? Mute कर दो ना इसे. Well, the true beauty. Time taken only. Uh, Doctor Satish, if you are yeah. using the Bluetooth, please don't use it because your phone ka mic or Bluetooth echo ho raha hai. Close switch off that and normal mic. Se aap jo bol rahe na kaan pe laga wo uski se aap take kariye. Otherwise, yahan pe. Actually, two two phones are on. No, you don't uh, use that. Even in Zoom, me problem hota hai. So. So well, let me uh, call Shikhar. Just a list, Leena, boy. Let him close it. Okay. So, Shikhar, 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 Deceived by beautiful face, they hardly go with the same pace. When they joined each other to get the yield in the journey of life, often they lose their race. Beauty of the face often allure to taste. It retained for some time. Later on, there will be no space. Beauty of inner heart remains for everlast. It's supposed to be of high class. If you like and love it, you will be never in loss. Remarkable beauty lies inside. It can't be seen by naked eyes. To peep into the inner beauty, one really requires deep insight. So this was my views. What the true beauty? It was a wonderful voice, Doctor Suti Srivastava. It was uh, nicely rendered, also. Uh, now oh, well, you have your lab. Let me, let me. Oh, sh sh Shikhar, please. List, list. Can I, bete? Shall I prompt you for the names uh, if you are uh, you don't have the list? List, list. Nikalo. List. कहाँ चला गया? Okay, let me let me have the list. Okay, uh, so uh, Dr. Satish Srivastava, uh, first uh, guest in your list is Dr. Mr. Arindam Roy. Okay, okay. So I would like to call Mr. Arindam Roy, please. Please come on the dice and recite your poem, please. Arindam Roy, is he present there? No, who is the second? Shilpa? Yaksha. Yaksha K. Hmm. Well, Mr. Yaksha K. Is there Mr. Yaksha K listening to me? I think he is not there present. Okay. So now come to third one. Rakesh Chandra. Mr. Rakesh Chandra. Mr. Rakesh Chandra, if listening to my voice, please. Yes. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, please. Thank you, sir. I am poet from Lucknow. My poem, title of my poem is Beauty in Debris. There were the huge buildings, lovely parks, historical monuments, hospitals and schools, which have now turned into debris, the prominent relics of lost civilization and the heart turning symbols of uncharitable defeat of human values. The melancholic wind is blowing around, singing the dirge of unbearable agony. Shrinking shadows of human beings are lurking on the empty streets, 
seasons are passing by unnoticed. Amidst the ruins of human hope, some children are playing in open space, laughing and jostling with each other affectionately. They are wearing a mesmeric smile on their innocent faces, which is a thing of beauty in the desert of sorrow to be conjured and enjoyed forever. Thank you. Thank you, Rakesh Ji. Thank you. You belong to my city. Okay. Let know. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, bye. It's a nice to meet you here. Yes. <laughs> well, so now I would like to call Mr. Kali Padaghosh. Kali Padaghosh. Is he present over here? I don't know. No. Then Mr. Hari Prasad. Mr. Hari Prasad. Hello, everyone. Oh, well, Hari Prasad, please. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, please. Go ahead. Okay. So, thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. And um, I want to recite uh, two of my poems. They are very short. And um, I would like to start with uh, thanking Prasanna and, uh, of course, the, uh, the Patel Brains group. So my first poem is um, called Magic in Your Eyes. It's about the beauty of eyes that many people uh, around us have, and they are very attractive. So here it goes, Magic in Your Eyes. Your two beautiful eyes hypnotize. Your two beautiful eyes hypnotize. A magic they transpose that for hours I assess your glimpse lasts for just few seconds, yet it speaks volumes, but in science. As a request, I reciprocate. I thank your kind gesture to let me see my eyes in yours. Now, in its depth, I dive. Now, in its joy, I fly. And to your look, oh dear, I am hooked. Thank you. Thank you, Hari Prasad. Thank you for reciting your beautiful poem. Yeah. Now the time to... to... Yes, please. I wanted to recite one more. It's a short poem. Can I go ahead? Oh, well, short one. Sure. Then you yeah. can take. Otherwise, sure. we have a shortage of time. Yeah. Anyway, Hari Prasad, please. Thank you. So it's called Lovely Weather. We are together. Curly clouds, black and gray, surround my eye. With your silky hair is my affair. Bolt has hit a chord in my heart. With your embrace, rain has amazing grace. As winter unfolds, it isn't yet cold. With your hand in my hand, the peaks has warmed. As our hearts pound, summer shows is around. With your broad grin, brighter is the sunshine. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, everybody. Satish ji. I think uh, Satish ji lost uh, the connection. Yes. Yeah, in fact, uh, my video is on. The video is off, I think. Video is... Video is... Check on with your connection, Satish Ji. Well, I would like to call Ms. Jennifer Galnez. 
If she's there, yes, I'm here. Jennifer, Thank you. Well, Jennifer, please go ahead. Okay. My poem is titled Danny. Danny has been gone almost 40 years. Beautiful face still keeps floating in my mind's eye, living forever joyfully in my countless memories, comforting my soul and his gentle voice, a radiant smile lighting up my life. Even when angry at our childish naughty deeds, the glance in her eyes remained a beauty to behold. I long for those joyful days, granny dancing beside the dinner pot, cooking on the old coal stove. My elder brother Patrick playing pranks on granny. Upon recovering from her fright, she laughing heartily at the putty formed lizard on our kitchen wall. Bed written from a stroke in later years, yet senses fully intact. Though her smooth skinned legs now parked permanently, Granny's joy of living, her beauty undiminished by her fragility. She joyfully chatting away, her gray brown eyes smiling lovingly at me. I really wish beautiful Granny could have lived on forever. Thank you. Dr. Molly Joseph, is the audible? Yeah, I can hear you. I hope you can hear me, all of oh, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, please. Yes. Greetings, Fertile Brains. Thank you, President Ajji and Dr. Srivastava and all the crew and my poet Pauls. Yes, this time the court is very inspiring from our dear John Keats, who says, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. Friends, as a poet, I believe the beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. The eye in eye matters. So if we look at moments with their you know, immediacy, freshness, beauty arises. At present, I am also in that state where as a grandma, I am witnessing the birth of my little grandchild, the baby girl. So here goes my poem. She came, she came, the little bundle of joy, waiting, waiting on tender hooks of angst, expectation, Yearning for a baby girl for long. A girl who can be the tender, understanding, creative, sustaining edge. A meaningful extension of her life. She came, she came. Mewling and puking in her mom's arms. There she lies, cheering the world around. Ha! Huh how God-given gifts are invested with beauty and joy. Carrying trails of heaven, she smiles in her sleep, the fresh, sweet dewdrop in the morning, on the morning's petal. Gently blows the wind, caressing her curls. The earth rejoices, for she is the creative principle of life. She came, she came, the little bundle of joy. Thank you, Prasanna, especially for uh, carving a space for me inside this great platform. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Molly Joseph. Thank you very much for reciting beautiful poem. Now the time to Mr. Priyatosh Dash. Priyatosh Dash.
Is it there, Mr. Priyatosh Dash? The next one is Miss John Santilan Amuro. Hi, hello, and good evening, good morning, good afternoon, okay. wherever you are. Um, I'm here in Malaysia, and thank you for the cordial brains and everyone for inviting me to be here. So when it goes like a thing of beauty is a joy for forever by Chan Kit. It makes me reflect of beauty and joy, and I always fall in the real essence of it, which is love, as it is, remains forever. So here's my poem, and the title is Autumn Kiss. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, Autumn Kiss. You say, you say hello, and I turn everything into a lovely orangey yellow. I say hi, and your smile made my heart jump high. Our frequency is in tune as we give the inaudible music, inaudible music on. Then the season change, the muffled leaves fall, the gravity undeniably strong, and I fall in love, and I fall in your arms the warm of your embrace towing my frozen guard of the pants and our breath bath in half inches of distance from yours to mine your eyes longing for love grasping me until our lips meet in zero space we chase our breath you are the keys of passion. My love, your love makes me complete. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, John. Now, Miss yes, Anita sir. Sharma. Now it's time to Anita Sharma. Uh, Miss Anita is there? Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone, and namaste. Am I audible, well, sir? Yeah, please. Audible, but not visible. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm trying uh, to put on my video, but uh, there is some signal issue on my inner path. Okay, then so, you can recite the word. Uh, yeah, I think that would be okay. I'll, I'll show my face later on. <laughs> so, a warm uh, you know, greeting to all the poet pals, to all the friends. My special you know, thanks to Professor Sirvastavji, you ma'am, and uh, Prasanna ji, so, uh, the one who has given us the chance you know, and this platform. Uh, the title is really beautiful, A Thing of Beauty is Joy Forever. And uh, you know, uh, I belong to a hilly state and uh, on my backyard, I have iris you know, flowers, which just bloom once a year, hardly for 10 days. And I literally symbolize them, you know, with the life of John Keats because they really uh, add grace to my path uh, at the back here. Miss Anita, I think your mic is muted. Iris at my backyard. That is the title of my poem. I'm audible, ma'am, no? Yeah, please. Actually, I'm, I'm traveling out of place, so some technical issues are there. <laughs> so sorry for this. I'll share the poem also on the group. Every day I rush through my shortcut passage as a spy in a wall, climbing rough stairs under the shade of Devdars to reach the road uphill to my destined day apart. Like a noisy stream that ran over the tired heights, I too climb up swiftly with a heavy heart towards the bright. I'm mindful of pain or pleasure, hardly ever stand or stare at the green plant standing in a climbing pattern beside the stairs. My mind is often bungled with the crashness of life, politics upright and liabilities at home and at sight. Like a flowing breeze, I have no time to check at bay. I just race with 
time the leveler day after day. For my respite, spring has brought little violet iris on long greens. At my backyard, they bloom once a year to giggle with bees. They laugh at me and play with my climbing steps under the warm sun. Like little pygmies, their floppy wings host insects and bees for fun. Repelling the monkeys of forest, they stretch the valleys of flower. Soft to touch, bright in color, a bright beauty with pride in a little life. They dare to share my burden of beast with their blushing blooms. They visit me once a year to trust that small is beautiful. They teach me it's the quality that matters, not the quantity of life. Out of the blue, iris pygmy climb, catch my attention and affection. They stimulate the child within me to smile at life so magnificent. Thank you so much. Oh. Well, so this was the last candidate from this lab. Okay. No. Now, Shilpa, uh, will you yeah. take? I'll take on the charge again back from you and thank you for participating as well as conducting the event. And your words was also a wonderful word. And it is always nice to be with you in the team and working and conducting the events together with all the odds and even even before conducting the event also and after the event also. But at the end, the result is always a good one. And thanks for being with us with so much of patience throughout the event. And now I would like to call upon Ms. Ekta Ahuja to recite her uh, words. Ms. Ekta, are you there? Yes, Sipaji, I'm there. Yeah, uh, now your chance to recite your words. And after your chance, you can call upon Aftab Tariq if his network works. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, Aftab, just uh, one minute, let her recite her words and then you can take on the charge. Okay. Ekta, you can continue. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Shilpaji. Uh, though this was uh, not planned by me uh, and it's just an impact. I have uh, written this line just uh, within this session only. So I hope you all will like it. Uh, this is a very beautiful uh, theme uh, which was suggested by, uh, you know, our dear Shilpa ji. And that is beauty. Uh, the thing of beauty is a joy forever. Uh, you know, things, uh, everything is, everything just uh, vanishes uh, in a span of uh, time. But the impression it has in our minds remains forever. So, uh, taking this... Uh, theme, the energy, like the source of the whole universe, it's like beauty is energy and it is boundless and timeless. Right. And continue. Uh, so uh, the, my, the title of my poem is Beauty. Beauty within us, beauty all around. Feel it, embrace it, inhale it, live it. Don't miss a thing. Don't miss a thing because some things are for a moment and disappear with a blink. Treasure the moment in your eyes and memory. Treasure the moment in your eyes and memory. Cherish it forever. It will always soothe you and fade away all sorts of worry. Beauty of beauty. Beauty of beauty is like breeze. It imparts blissfulness and ease. It imparts blissfulness and ease. Uh, thank you so much. It is a very short poem I composed during the session only. And uh, I hope it's I was It's a wonderful able... and beautiful verse. And you try to put in the exact feelings which you had for uh, this theme. And uh, you can still try one more with a uh, lot of leisure again and we come back with that. So then you can call Aftab Tariq also. Hello. Am I visible now? Yeah, you are visible and audible. You can uh, recite your words. Thank you. Th uh, thanks so much for um, giving me this, this chance to present my poem. 
As you know, I am Aftab Tariq from uh, Kashmir, uh, from Kashmir, uh, you know. So yeah. the poem I am going to recite uh, over here is uh, Beauty. It is, uh, uh, now I will start my poem. In the dark and dead night, I saw a moon descending from heavens to my hem. <laughs> what I saw, a half moon drenched in beauty like an artist's last loud panting, or a snowy peak dazzling in winter, her eyes with enchanted beauty open, or a silk worm had worn a purple dress. The hand that rested with her chin was like, in, was like a skip hole resting the moon on. Her eyebrows were as charismatic as her word like an artist had chiseled the last arc, but oh, in beauty to the last drop of hand raised. Thank you so much. This was one of my words. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Aftab, you got frozen, stuck on the screen. Hello. 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 Mr. Aftab. I think you lost the connection in between. Maybe the connection issue. Okay, uh, now uh, I will continue further uh, the event because one of the participants had prepared for the event but uh, missed it. So I would like to recite the words of Johanna uh, Devo Deva Yavu, Tirunalaveli, India. The title of the poem is Beauty and Joy. Can one link beauty to everlasting joy, a moment of beauty turning old in a jiffy, to be termed as ugly, a cause for grief truly? Where abides the joy that is never moody? Let's align our code with life's eternal shore, in sunshine or rain, in every season, including pain, in brilliant, vivid, Ways we will paint a smile on the in in brilliant vivid hues. We will paint a smile on the blues, breathing deep nature's beauty, catching a whiff of joyful bounty. Uh, this is the verse written by Johanna, and uh, the, she is the person has the poet has conveyed uh, the regards, heartiest regards and love to all the participants and all the esteemed members of the organized team organizing team. Uh, so uh, uh, now Didi, here. We also, Didi, yes? we also have Ganga Lakshmi Patnaik, ma'am, and uh, uh, Krishna Vadikar, sir, who's okay. waiting. And Mario is there. Mario, if you could just uh, okay. unmute. You could just, uh, OK, first I'll call uh, Ganga Lakshmi. OK. Uh, can, I, uh, can I have you over here on the mic, Ms. Ganga Lakshmi? Yes. Yes, yes, madam. I am here. Am I audible? Am I audible, madam? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Good evening, everyone. I would like to recite Poet of Nature, John Keats' line. The theme is, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. A thing of beauty is a joy forever, endless, never diminishes. Thing of beauty has immense joy, source of bliss never fades. I have been watching flutter of wings of butterflies, host of glow worms. I'm sure that beauty never parted from me with its loveliness. All these things amazing, incredible only for eternal joy, shows grandeur. It's a thing of beauty, joy forever, source of unending pleasure. 
moments of joy glee elation experienced in heart lasts infinity forever may melt into envies of distances but doesn't go away or disappear thanks to all the poets especially my thanks to prashanna sir okay thank you, uh, you ma'am uh, for setting the wonderful verse and brother uh, whom shall i call next krishna vadikar sir okay uh, mr krishna valikar good evening and uh, thanks for joining the event take on the mic and uh, you can uh, take the charge for the theme of thing of beauty is a joy for mr krishna valikar mr krishna unmute your mic and recite your version krishna ji unmute kijiye mic ko aapka aapka mic unmute kijiye and recite the verse i think he is uh, not able to uh, do it uh, next uh, person is no no possible no one is there is there but no no one is responding after but unfortunately i couldn't uh, you know Aftab, uh, can you do me a favor? If you can hear, hello. Aftab, आपका जो है ना link टूट रहा है और आवाज crack हो रहा है तो will you do a favor? आप एक video record कीजिए. You record yeah. a video of your words and then put it in the fertile brains group. यहाँ पे बहुत issue हो रहा है आपका सुनने में. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will you try that. You do one thing because three, two to three times we tried, or when you started to do it, the sound was so lag, and suddenly you got cut off from the video as well as audio. So better you do one thing: you make a recitation, uh, video re recording, and put it in the fertile brains. So, so uh, at least we all viewers can see it, see and hear it. Uh, so brother uh, can you just take the charge and wind up the event today it's power gone didi <laughs> okay okay that is okay i'll i'll take up uh, the uh, i think uh, yeah i'll, I'll uh, draw the curtain okay, i think uh, i need no, no, <laughs> <laughs> no it's okay i'll do it uh, next time you do it <laughs> okay thank you brother prasanna for conducting the event so successfully inviting all the members and as well as organizing and creating a very uh, smooth event uh, for the group uh, and i thank you on behalf of the entire team as well as all the members of the fertile brain now you can take on the charge and end the event brother i think no power is there Brother, unmute yourself. So, I'm not spared. <laughs> Now you can you can end the event. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Didi. Thank you for hosting. Uh, I mean, uh, taking this, uh, you know, uh, uh, walk through. I mean, the poetic event walk through uh, along with Ekta, ma'am, and she, Sunita, Didi, and Jay Shri, uh, Satish, sir, and everyone, and Gilda. team out here and uh, i especially thank all the participants who on uh, who graced the occasion with their beautiful verses and uh, you know the i especially thank tom alexandra dan pentas john amro and uh, who who is i mean from the beginning they were there and you know it is jennifer yeah jennifer how could i miss you <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for yesterday. <laughs> no, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit uh, good. And uh, thank you, and keep coming. And we will be soon inviting you all for the next uh, event. Um, hopefully, with a good team and like, with a very, very thoughtful team, uh, we'll be having. I think uh, next event would be on. Uh, Equality. I think I'm wearing a equality, <laughs> you know, T-shirt. So it's inscribed on it. So I think it's a better of a theme for the next event. It would be around twenty uh, seventh or something like that. 
so no not the not the date and you try to come on the you know make make the day even successful and i would uh, you know i would um, end my speech not in space or nothing like that but then i thank you once again for you know making this event uh, i mean uh, a grand success i thank silata ma'am and uh, rakesh chandra sir manju vishwana vishwa nath hari prasad sir and everyone ganga lakshmi patnaik ma'am srivastava sir and thank you thank you once again for you know uh, making this event uh, beautiful and one and a grand success thank you i'm um, though um, many have been absent but then the spirit has gone went well and uh, the, uh, like they said a spirit a moment of joy is i mean what is it? <laughs> a thing of beauty is joy forever <laughs> yeah something like that So, yeah, I think beauty is a joy forever. Joy forever, and John Keats, and a tribute to John Keats. In fact, I will, I will, I will, I will deliver a beautiful tribute in, in a sense. And thank you, thank you for uh, you know blessing the occasion once again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all, okay. and see you again, okay. all of you. Bye bye. Okay, good night. Good night to all of you. Bye bye bye. Bye, Akshay. <laughs> bye bye prasanna ji thank you it was a great program we're talking about the joy of zoom is beauty is a joy the joy the joy of the zoom is a beauty forever yeah i think of it i think of it is a joy for me joy for me and and there is one more thing while we are talking about beauty i think uh, your uh, hat is adding to your personality so <laughs> i become an english man <laughs> Uh, yeah it'll be okay. bye 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 hari sir bye rakesh sir thank you everyone bye okay bye thank you thanks thank you sirata ma'am thank you dan dan joan bye everyone and good night bye bye good night good night sir amazing success see you soon rasan ji amazing success ji this zoom has got amazing success Yeah, we will we'll meet in the next my uh, next week soon. With your okay. And wonders. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Bye, bye. Bye. Good.